Pierre, ready to leave for Francia when you are. I'm ready. Frankia, the land of Charlemagne and the bitter prize of Ragnar, who sacked Paris for a fortune in silver and sorrow. Now a new king rises, uniting Franks against Norse in open battle, and casting angry eyes toward England. I must stop this mad king from sending war across the sea. Already his armies assemble. And crows gather again over Paris. Welcome to Francia! What? No sniveling emissary from King Charles to greet us? Believe me, Wolfkist, you will feel the warmth of his welcome soon enough. The Mad King did this. We all had a part in it. Gods. This is what he would bring to Ravensthorpe. It is. We are almost there, but we cannot take the longship around Paris as the Frank's bridges block the way. Our village is inland. We will take the horses from here. The others will follow on foot. Is there danger of an ambush? Not this close to the water, and not at night. Siegfried has done his work too well. I will finish unloading the ship. You two go ahead. Many thanks, Pierre. And Eivor. There is something we should talk about when I arrive at Melun. Until then, ride safe. Mount up. The ride is not long. How will I face Siegfried? He entrusted me to gather axes. He wants me to lead one day, but I failed even this. The failure was not all yours, Tuka. Jarls are ever busy with their own concerns. Ah, just give me strong ale and a good fight. What else matters? Frankish scouts. They have been watching us closely of late. What do you think it means, Eivor? That Siegfried has not finished his work yet. Siegfried will not be finished until there are no more Franks left to fight. Scouts have been gnawing at our heels ever since Charles forced us from the north. He pushes hard against your people. You might have to lead sooner than you expect, Toga. I may not be the best one to do it. I see the longhouse. We are almost there. Strange to be back after so long. I thought to return with an army. Welcome to Milan. We should find Siegfried. Turn. All went well, I hope. Are the others you brought coming behind you? I need to find Siegfried. Of course. 
Well, uh, you will find him where he always is. Ah, yes. He will be at the burial grounds, staring into the mist. It is where he begins most days. This way. Our burial grounds. Sinric, my father, lies there, with the others. We should go. There's something calming about this place. It is a beautiful land. Or would be if it was not filled with Franks. There is Siegfried. You go ahead. He may not be happy to see me return with so few allies. I will not drag, father. We are almost there. Your honor will be redeemed. Siegfried. You came, Wolf's Kissed. Good. You knew it was me. Pierre sent word ahead. Your axe will be a boon to us. I heard your axe has been busy as well. Yes, I've slain many on the open field with honor. As Odin intended. It is our way. But it is not their way. The Franks dragged our Jarl Sinric from his bed and gutted him like a coward. They did not even bury him, just left his body for the animals to take. I raised this mount for him. You want me to join your side against these Franks? There is no side. There is only blood debt and vengeance and Helheim for those I split with my axe. How dangerous are these Franks? What do they want? Do you not understand? They want us as Sinric, dead and dishonored, but I will teach them what honor means. Now we will feast, and I will tell you of my plans for Paris. This is Vidar, a more noble beast I have never known. The God of Vengeance. It is a good name. Many Franks have met their end beneath his iron hoofs. He hates them almost as much as I do. You placed a carving at Sinric's grave. Sinric won it from me in the home gang when we were children. It is Eikthirni, who watches over Odin's hall in Valhalla. He was holding it when I found him. It was the only way I knew him after the animals had gotten to his body. will be the greatest raid since Ragnar sacked Paris and brought longships full of silver back to King Horik. We will fill our war chest with silver and our mugs with mead. Blood and glory! Skull! 
This is not just about Silver Talker. He hates being disturbed while he eats. You know, Ragnar returned with more than just silver. More than silver? What was it? Swords, precious jewels, wine! Stories of a dead saint defending Paris. Horik was so awed, he freed the Christians and executed his raiders. Really? That does not sound glorious. Behold, I will deliver thine enemy into thine hand, that thou mayest do to him as it shall seem good to thee. Kill the heathens! Bring me Siegfried's head, and that one as well! Leave the stripling alive to tell of it! The what?! Bishop Anglin, this is a good night. Oh shit. The guards here are vigilant. Horses give them advantage, but it will not be enough. Siegfried, wait! What did he say to you? Tolka, see to the wounded, and find the watch! They should have warned us of the attack! I told you he doesn't like to be interrupted while eating. We needed that soldier alive to question. Wild heart, level head. Oh, I like that. Where is Siegfried going? My guess is to find that bishop, Engelwin. He hates him above all others. It was he who killed Sinric. Yes, his sword brother, and your father. I'm sorry, Toga. Nothing has changed. If anything, the attacks grow more frequent, as you see. Ranvi was right. I have to stop this before it reaches Ravensthorpe. <sighs> Unless you can convince their king to surrender, you may have to kill every soldier in Francia. If we take Paris, many of their soldiers will die. Charles knows that. The threat of it will force him to negotiate. That oath-breaking coward will never meet you. Even if he does, his word is worthless. Better to kill him. The problem is bigger than one king, Toga. I must talk to him. It is what my clan expects. You may be right. But I am not the one you will have to convince in the end. If you kill Engelwin, Siegfried might be persuaded to help you find Charles. You begin to think like a Jarl, Toga. Twice our scouts followed Engelwin to the slums south of Paris. When you are ready, that is where Siegfried will be. I will meet Siegfried there, and return when Engelwin is dead. Then, we will find Charles. Evor, over here! <laughs> 